Why would you have babies and then just give them up for adoption? Well, my situation right now is I'm academic research. I'm academic research, I'm a student. So I really don't have the stability, the housing stability to care for any of them. So why'd you decide to have them in the first place? Yeah, that's a big, there's a big, that, yep, yeah, that's true, that's honest. Well, uh, I mean, because here's the thing. Okay. All you did was put more kids out here who were gonna have mommy and daddy issues, mm -hmm. growing up in foster care and all of the trauma and issues that could potentially come with that. Correct. Um, why did you do that? I guess in the end, it's sort of like, um, I've been communication with her. I just recently, she just transferred to, uh, graduated high school just past May. So, where were you? I was in Kansas City. But why, I've been were you, here. why were you not with her? What's up, YouTube? Go ahead and smash that like button. Also, if you like the video, share. It helps to spread it in the algorithm. Now, back to the content. Back to the content. Back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? All right. All right, all right. I love your smile, I'll tell you that. Right off the bat, I love your smile, man. Okay. All right, so um, so are you homeless? Yes, I am homeless. Okay, um, how old are you? 35. 35, yes. and so how long have you been homeless? I've been homeless for about three years. About three years? Yeah. Okay, um, so what was it that happened three years ago that caused you to become homeless? Well. Traditional housing for me at this moment isn't something that's, I guess, uh, that I want. So I would consider, I started to consider other alternative options like sleeping outside in a tent, um, campers, things of that nature, but that didn't work out either. So now I'm stuck with long-term planning um, as far as what I would like to, where I would like my housing situation to be in, in, in long-term. So 15 years, 10 years. Okay. So, okay. Um, do you have any kids? Yes. How many? Uh, three. Three. How old is the oldest? How young is the youngest? My oldest is 18. Then I have three, two, three-year-olds. Are they twins? Just about, yes. Just about meaning are they back-to-back -back born or are they born at the same time? Back-to-back -back born. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Um, and so three kids, have you ever been married? No. No? Okay. Um, and so as far as the kids go, who do they live with? Uh, my 18-year-old is in college. My two three-year-olds are I think in Minnesota still. Minnesota? They're in, yeah, they're in like a, uh, like, like, adoption, like adoption situation. Yeah, like the state. Okay, yep. the state got them. All right, what about the dad? I mean, is it the same dad for the two three-year-olds or is it different dads? I had to uh, use a sperm donor. Okay, you used a sperm donor? Yeah. Okay, uh, meaning that you went to a sperm bank? Yeah. Okay, um, I thought that was pretty expensive. No, it's not. Actually, it isn't. It's very inexpensive and it's very private. And the benefit of it for me, I guess, is the no sexual contact with others. As, but but the best thing about it, I get to care. Like like as a teenager, most kids care, longing for the picket white fence, kids, husband. But for me, I care. I, I, I long to be. I long to care without having interaction with others. So the the sperm donor bank, I get the donor the sperm banks were a relief for kids like me did you do that with both of the three-year-olds yeah okay um and so you say you've been homeless for about three years now yeah so did you do that while you was homeless no i was at a student at university of new mexico you uh, was a student yeah i was a student um uh staying on, on on campus housing okay okay so about the end of the year 2019 is when when you decided i became to homeless that. when you okay okay, okay. Um, and so why'd you become homeless again? Like, so you was in school, what happened? Well, for the most part, for the past couple of months, I've been getting used to utilizing the resources um, for, homeless, for homelessness. And that's kind of been a result of trespassing, getting kicked out of the libraries and the colleges, and kind of reinforcing the, both the positive and, and, and negative aspects of those situations. So everything is turning out, and, and, and I get to look at the broader picture about um, the resources, the homeless situation isn't priority for any type of uh, housing or economic development, so that would be homeownership. So basically just taking advantage of, of 
I'm gonna say military mindset. So getting up, rising, not loitering, not trespassing. Have you ever you, been in the military? No. No? No. Okay, so let, let's just, I'm gonna put a pin in that right there. Okay. Let's start from the beginning. So where are you from? Los Angeles, California. <laughs> hey, man. Shout out that big LA, man. Oh. Shout it out. The city of angels, man. Yeah. All right, definitely, man. Definitely love LA and the whole state of California, man. Always, always. All right, so growing up in LA, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? Yes. Okay, were they married? No. No? Um, but they lived together? No. Okay, so I'm, that's why I'm asking, like, did, 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 you, did you grow up with both of them in the household together? No, not in both, not in the same household. No. Okay, but they were both active in your life? Yes. Okay, um, who'd you grow up with mainly, your mom? Yeah, my mom, my mother. Okay. Um, did you have any brothers and sisters? I have a little brother. Okay. okay. How much younger is he than you? My little brother is, gosh, 20, he's in his 20s. Late or early 20s? I said mid, mid to late, mid to early, mid, my mid 20s. How old were you when he was born? How old were you? 94, 95? No, how old were you? Like a lot of times people, people, people can remember. Between six and 10. Okay, I got you. I got you. So okay. He's a few years younger. Um, okay. So growing up, I mean, would you say that you had like a fairly normal childhood? Yes. Okay. Um, did you go to high school? Yes. Graduated? Yes. Okay. Um, you know, you you have a, a seeming um, desire to not be touched physically or sexually. Did anything ever happen to you while you was younger? No. No? Okay. Um, and so after high school, did you go straight to college? Yes. Okay, what school, what college? Uh, I went to MCTC in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay. Yeah, um, community college. I get it, I get it. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, so sometime around the age of 17, we had our first child, right? Yeah. Um, we were still in high school then? Yeah, we were still in high school. Okay. Um, and so the dad, was he also in high school? Or was he older? Uh, I'm trying to say this. When it comes to my 18 year old, it was sort of a sperm donor situation too. But it was more, it was, uh, I guess, more details was known about the donor than the, the, my, th my three year olds. Well, well so, was, it, was there sex involved or was it like you went to a sperm bank? Like a sperm bank. At, at 18, at 17 but it's more in high school? Yeah, it's more selective. More, uh, how should I say this? I get it. it it's it's a, 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 a more stringent process. Um, more open. Okay. More open. Okay. All right, so, so, I mean, right away, you know, there's a couple things we got pins in that we're going to come back to. Okay. So for one, well, we're gonna come back to the 18 year old, but the three year olds. So why would you have babies and then just give them up for adoption? Well, my situation right now is I'm academic research. I'm academic research, I'm a student. So I really don't have the stability, the housing stability to care for any of them. So why'd you decide to have them in the first place? Yeah, that's a big, that's a big, that, yep, yeah, that's true, that's honest. Well, I mean, because here's the thing. Okay. All you did was put more kids out here who were going to have mommy and daddy issues, mm -hmm. growing up in foster care and all of the trauma and issues that could potentially come with that. Correct. Um, why did you do that? I guess in the end, it's sort of like um, building on... So when I had my 17 year old, it, 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 it helped me be more responsible. And I kind of utilized what I had learned with my first child and try to take that into some more uh, child rearing to better myself and become a better person because there really is no ultimate purpose beyond being a parent or a caretaker. Well, it's, it shouldn't be about you right. or bettering you as a person. It should be about the child. Right. So you brought a child into a situation where they're gonna have all type of issues that they're gonna to have to deal with throughout life right okay um why would you do that to a person like it you're supposed to love your kids why would you do something like that well
Yeah, that's something that I've never really, I've never really thought about. But I guess I, I, I it's, it's, it's worth repentance. Your your okay. eighteen year older is in college right now, but you've been homeless for the last three years. Yeah. Where was he living three years ago? She was in Minnesota as well, is with, with like a boarding care situation because of her age. She's she's old uh, older. At at any age, did you raise her yourself? Yeah. Up to what age did you raise her? Um, sixteen. Up to sixteen? Yeah. I've been communication with her. I just recently, she just transferred to, uh, graduated high school just past May, so. Where were you? I was in Kansas City. But why, I've been were you, here. why were you not with her? I'm a, I'm a student, I'm, a re I'm researching. You're a mom. Yeah. That's what you are first. But I have to set examples first. So I teach you. You're setting mom. an example of yeah. how to be a bad mom. How to be educated and take care of myself. That's what I'm teaching. That's what I'm learning still myself. And I'm very much a cub of baby, as you see you pulling me off the streets. So I'm no uh, uh, veteran at being of educated. So why bring kids into that? And, and it sounds like you did it on purpose. Okay. Like you went to a sperm bank and purposely created three kids that would have no mom or very, would have an unstable mom at best and no mom at worst. Okay. Do you not see anything wrong with that? Well, yeah, no, because, but it just depends on the, the norms of the times. The norms of the time mm -hmm. is that if you have kids, you're responsible for raising them. Right. And you're not raising your two, three year olds. You had them on purpose. Okay. So those type of situations or um, I guess I should say my ill manners of being uh, acknowledging what's taking place today. Um, so I have sort of entrusted the communities to uh, as far as like services like for uh, like I guess the, the most significant one would be suicide or uh, mental, mental health is what you're referring to or like, like drug addictions like things that like uh, so let me let me ask so have you had any mental health um, diagnosis yeah for, for myself but for my for no my, for you that's what I'm talking about for you yeah what was the diagnosis uh, mental health uh, schizophrenia schizophrenia uh, what age did this diagnosis occur uh, 17 18 17 18 mm -hmm. so is it possible that it's not true that you have kids? Well, with respect to their in other safety, words, their in other words, and their safety, yes. In, well, no, I mean, <laughs> is it possible that you're making it up in your head? No. No? So you definitely have biological kids? Yeah, but when it comes to their safety and their privacy, like you said, I'm not... In, foot, in physical custody of them, providing for them, then they have to be respected as such, as persons in which they they will become, or they're teaching themselves to become. I get it. And they're and as as their the community is is helping them, assist them with educational work and goals. So do, do we have a history of drug use? No. No. Okay. I mean, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look like drugs to me. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like drugs, but definitely seems like. But more like mythology. No, it seems like severe <laughs> mental health. It seems like mythology. severe mental health. All right, miss. Well, listen, um, well, listen, if anybody out there, so, so if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? No. No? No. How long ago did you get to Atlanta? I've been here for about two weeks. Two weeks? Yep. Why'd you come here? Uh, at first I came here just exploring the southern uh, part of the states. And... So I've been here and it's been going well so far and I appreciate the art and culture uh, and the history of Georgia. So that's been keeping me here Okay. as a student. Okay. All right, well listen miss, we really appreciate you taking the time answering all of our questions. Okay. Um, and we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, okay? Okay. Make sure you have a good one, all right sweetie? Okay. All right.